afternoon, everybody. You are watching Homegrown 717. And as you can see, it's a lot better, a lot better day today, let me tell you. It was it was sunny out, but uh the clouds are starting to come over, but they're actually calling for a lot better weather this whole week. Unfortunately, I got to be at work. Oh, who knew? Um, I think it's supposed to be high 50s today, maybe. Um, today's Wednesday. Um, I'm, I'm a day late getting my video out. and Sorry for that. Um, we had a um, uh, fa family stuff yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to film. Yeah, look at that. I got me some feathers on me. But um, anyways, and the rest of the week, actually, they were saying it's supposed to get warmer every day. And up until Saturday, hell is almost it's supposed to be almost eighty degrees, supposedly. But um I figured today it's it it it's still chilly, but I'm gonna attempt to put my first coat of paint on my tractor. Um so I'm bringing you guys along with me, obviously. And you got got the old daily right here, you know. Haven't started working on her yet, but content will will be coming for that soon. So, um, let me get set up here, and actually, I'll go around here and I'll show you. I got I got the castings hanging, ready to go. So, hopefully, it's not too cold. Um, they are they are a bit chilly to the touch. Because they have been sitting all winter long. Like, uh, like in my first video, I told you um, uh, I got it tore down over the winter. But I obviously didn't get a chance to get anything painted or whatever. I was waiting until more of the spring, summertime. But, uh, and the rest of the parts down here. But, uh, yeah, ho hopefully, hopefully it's not too cold to put paint on. Um, I'm going to try to get the first coat of primer on these today and uh hopefully hopefully everything turns out good i don't have to resand it back down eh, who knew but uh um if not well i guess i'm gonna have to wait um wait for a warmer day to do it but uh keep fingers crossed we're keeping our fingers crossed that this goes over good and um let's get to it before we start um, painting here. I'm gonna go over some parts with you guys. Yeah, show the outside there a second. Yeah, it's a lot better day. I would say so if the camera would focus. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, looking in my little box here of goodies. Yeah, like I said, everything is so dusty and dirty from sitting in the garage and all the animals and they just make everything so dirty. I love having them, but geez. But anyways. We get back to what I was saying. Um, I got a little baggie here. This has all the brand new pedals in it. Um, pedals, um, if the camera would focus, this is all the little um, hub, hub nuts to keep the pedals on. And my center hub caps in the back. And once it's finished, you'll see. But uh, right here, uh, I'll take you inside and I'll show you my already finished one, the Allison Chalmers I was talking about. But that comes in the packet. Let's get these cleaned off here. It ain't the best, but brand new chain for it. All brand new mounting hardware. All the bushings. Um, yeah. All, all brand new mounting hardware that, you, that they send to you. And all this is actually pretty reasonably priced, but once it, all, you get everything, it does add up, but... If you're going to do a complete restoration like I do, um, it's well worth the money. But, uh, got brand new front wheels. I know it's not the best looking. There's another one. And then down there is the brand new rear wheels. Um, come on over here. You got brand new pedal assembly. And they come shipped with all the mounting hardware. Um, all your, uh, um, all the bushings are on it and um, your bearings rear axle you know, just with the chain you know that's all that really drives it they're actually really simple to put together 
Um, this is the brand new front axle. Now I have the, this one's a wide axle. My other tractor is a, a narrow axle, a na narrow front end. If you know your tractors, um, I had to get this one built. Um, the guy that I ordered my stuff from that I put in the, that I put in the link in my bio, like I did on my first video, um, he builds all this stuff. Um, he hand makes it all. Um, now it's not like original. The original pieces are plastic, but uh, we'll see how she looks when I put her together. And here is the back, the back housings. Um, we'll come over here to the tractor. There's one half of the shell, but actually these go up here. These go up here for the back axle, and they get bolted on, so on and so forth. Like I said, I'll show you all that once I start putting her together. We got those. You know, let me walk over here. I'm going to show you the original front the front piece. Here's the original front piece. It's all plastic. And uh, see, this piece right here was fine. I needed a new one of these. Uh, if I can find where the heck it was broke at. But it was broke. And I didn't want to put a broken piece back on. I want it all brand new. Oh yeah, it broke right there. And they are known for that, you know, looking at different and talking to different people. These plastic pieces were known for that. So I just got the new one, and uh, as you can see, this isn't quite the same as the the new one that he builds. But um, and this is actually all raised up more. This is factory the way they were built, but uh. I didn't want the plastic piece no more, so he just ordered that. I ordered that, and he built it, and so on and so forth. All the old mounting hardware, so on and so forth. But uh, that's usually that's 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 about it to go into these. I don't think that I'm missing any parts. I think I'm missing the steering steering piece. Uh, let's walk back over here real quick. But uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> There's the steering shaft. I should have known. But, yeah, that's all, it's simply, that's all you see right there, plus the pedals, the chain, it's all really simple, and, you know, within the next couple of days, I get it painted, and everything cures, and I'll put it together, and you guys will see the process of that, but, um, with that all being said, let's get ready and get to do some painting. Hey, everybody, let's get ready to do some painting. Um, what I wanted to go over real quick was... Now, I am using spray paint to paint my tractors, but, but, this is paint specifically for the tractors. Now, this is just a primer right now, but this is what I use. You can see it. It's magic. I think that's, yeah, Ma magic or whatever the heck you call it. It's for tractor and truck and implement spray paint, and they make it specifically for the code of your tractor man that sun is really making me making me look white let me tell you but uh once i get into the color and i'll show you that one too but this is the brand that i do buy um i get it at the local tractor supply um but it is paint code matched to the tractor so i'm using the original color um, now I am using a brown, well, a red oxidized primer, um, simply because depending on the primer that you use depends on how good the color pops. And I'm going to be using a, mm, excuse me, um, a darker color because it pops the John Deere color out a lot better. Um, you'll see that in the finishing product, but, uh, I just wanted to show you duh i know i'm stuttering don't mind me i lose my train of thought sometimes but this is what i'm going to be using for my primer and when i get into the regular color we'll show you that and we'll just go from there and the nice thing about john deere's is they're all one color when i show you my allison chalmers and that's a little bit more harder let me tell you because it's two different colors and you got to tape a lot off if i would have filmed whenever i restored that 
that took forever. That took me all, almost, almost, almost a month to actually finish the paint on it. From the masking and laying one color and then masking again, laying another color, and then I had to remask again to fix some little mess ups. It was just a pain in the butt, but I finally got it and it looks great. Um, but I'll show you that tractor then, but let's get to painting. Let's do some some, some rattle can painting. Mm -hmm. Let's get this shook up just a little bit. I've been shaking it up, but uh, let's get it painting, okay? As you can see, everybody, I got the very first coat. Eh, can't really see it right there. Stupid light. But I guess that's the best you're going to be able to see right now. Oh, right there you go. Yeah. But yeah, I got the very first coat of paint on, well, primer. Sorry. Correction. Primer. On the castings. So, it actually looked like it went on really well. Really well. So, I guess we'll just see how she sets up, if it takes more than a day to set up. And, I think I'll decide that I'm not going to paint on a cold day again. Huh. Who knew? But it actually set really well. I know she looks a little wavy. And, with having spray paint, you're not going to have it 100% perfect. But once I lay the color on, you'll see a big difference. A big, big difference. But, I started over here, but I ran out of paint. And you know, the funny thing is, is I never used a, uh, two cans on these parts whenever I did my first one. It's crazy. I used one can on both of these. Huh. Who knew? Maybe because it's cold out. I don't know. But just giving you guys a little bit of an update. Let's get back to painting.
Well, there we have it, everybody. Got the very first coat on all of the all the parts. We'll see how she sets up. Hopefully, we're good by tomorrow, and it can come back out here, put on layer number two. Let that set up and cure. And after layer number two, then I can start actually laying color. I do two coats on this, on these, so some people only do one, some people some people just throw color. Well, I like to do it the right way. But uh Well there you have it. I got the very first coat started on the project already. Finally, after a long winter, I get to finally start on this. So, put in the comments. Hope you like it. And we're going to move the inside here in a minute. And I'll show you my very first restoration. And I will see you guys there. Alright everybody, let's walk on in here. And I will show you the other tractor. Do, 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 do. It's a lovely house. Haha, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, hey, look, everybody, there's the puppy. Hey, hi, puppy. <laughs> She's scratching herself. But, go on in here. Here is my very first restoration. As you can see, it is two different colors, and this thing took me forever, forever to paint. You know, down here, having to mask all this off right here, along this little edge all the way down around, and then at the front here, the front here was the fun part, trying to figure out to get it perfect, to get down there. Gotta get down and around there and mask it off. I know it wasn't 100% perfect, but I got it really good. And all this right here is a sticker. Stickers. Um, when you get the kit for all your parts, you got your kit for the stickers and so on and so forth. I have the kit for the other tractor too. I didn't show that to you guys yet, but um, when we get to that. Um, but yeah, that's my very first one. And that's what the other one will sort of look like other than it's a John Deere and it's going to be green. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I have more progress coming in the next couple days. Hopefully we can get this project finished up, get it finished painted, and be done with it. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome week. Like to hit that like button, please hit that like button. Subscribe and stay tuned for more updates with the tractors, with the truck. And hope you guys have an awesome week again. Thank you very much. And as for the saying, keep it homegrown. <laughs>